Hello, welcome back to Audit Trails. This is Jake from Auditor Sense, and today we're going to jump into another NIST 853 control, AC8. AC8 is all about system use notification. So this control at first glance might look a little daunting. It's rather long as far as the description goes, but we're going to jump into it. I'm going to explain it a little bit, and then uh, towards the end of the presentation, I'll go ahead and show an example of what this looks like. So. Let's get to it. So let's jump into the description. So the description reads, the information system displays to users before granting access to the system that provides privacy and security notices consistent with applicable federal laws, executive orders, directives, policies, regulations, standards, and guidance, and state that yeah. users are accessing a US government information system Information system usage may be monitored, recorded, subject to audit. Unauthorized use of the information system is prohibited and subject to criminal and civil penalties. And use of the information system indicates consent to monitoring and recording. Retains the notification message or banner on the screen until the user has acknowledged the usage conditions and take explicit actions to log on or further access the information system. And for publicly ex accessible systems, displays system use information before granting further access, displays references, if any, to monitoring, recording, or auditing that are consistent with privacy accommodations for such systems that generally prohibit those activities, and includes a description of the authorized use of the system. So like I said, that control at first glance is very daunting, so let's walk through it slowly. So let's go back to the beginning of the description. So the information displays to, use, to users a message or a banner before granting access to the system that is consistent with all federal laws. So uh, let's think about when we're gonna log into a computer, whether it be at work or a government computer of any sort. You go there, you click Control Alt Delete, I'm ready to log in. You get that warning message. Typically you get warning, warning, warning. This is a government owned computer. You're about to access a government uh, machine or better yet, this is a computer of ABC Corporation. You are about to access it. Uh, we can monitor the, your activity. This is what you're doing. It's typically this long message that um, pops up before you log in. Most people just click enter, skip it kind of deal. I, I doubt many people um, actually read it. But if we go deeper into the description of this control, this is what is requ required within that uh, system use notification. So like I said, we're accessing a government system. If you're a private organization, obviously you're not going to say you're accessing a U.S. government information system. You're going to say you're accessing a system owned by ABC Corporation. Stating that the user is subject to audit, that you're going to be monitoring their usage, it's going to be recorded, so um, the user is aware of what they're getting into essentially when they access this information system. So you should also put in there the consequences of unauthorized use. So like I said, that's in that big paragraph once you log in in that system use. Um, so under what US code typically, what, what laws are they breaking, what are the consequences, stuff like that. Um, just saying that by the next thing is saying that by user logging in, they are giving consent to that monitoring and recording. And the next part of the description is that retains the notification message or banner until the user acknowledges it. So if we think about when we're logging in, that message pops up. The only thing to do on that screen is click OK. So that's the user acknowledgement. And then you'll be prompted for credentials or something like that or, or a smart chip or biometrics, however you guys log in. And then for publicly accessible systems, um, pretty much, they're very similar guidelines. So, displays system use information before granting access. So, like I said, before you log in, boom, notifications right in your face. Um, it displays references to the monitoring that are consistent with privacy accommodations for that given system. So, if there's any websites or anything that they can go to to read about it, um, just references and uh, regulations that they can refer to. And then 
description of the system. So if it's publicly accessible, um, I don't know, it's like a library or something like that, or um, a government system that is accessible to civilians, it's just saying that uh, this is what you're allowed to do, this is what you're expected to do with this within this system. Anything that is um, outside of these expectations slash um, permissions that would get looked at. So what does all of this mean? Like I said, the description is very daunting for what seems to be a very simple notification. What are we looking for when we're performing this audit? So we're looking for documentation. So within your AC, your access control procedures, you want this notification to be documented. You want all the requirements um, stated within this control documented within your procedures. So it's a government-owned system. It may be monitored, recorded, or audited. Unauthorized use of the system is prohibited against law ABC. All of this stuff should be documented within your procedures so that when you have to recreate or edit these banners, all the information's there to go to people know what they're looking for. Um, like I said, if you're a government agency, you got to label it. You have to say this information system belongs to agency ABC. And one thing that is important to note is that this banner is only required for systems that have human interaction. So if you have service accounts or interactive logins that people aren't physically doing the work on the keyboard, um, obviously there's no banner required because they're not going to see it. Next, I just want to show an example of this. So this is just a regular system usage notification. So the computer is property of blank, blank, blank. The use of the system is restricted to authorized users, unauthorized access, use or modification of this system or the data contained herein uh, may be subject to criminal prosecution. These systems and equipment are subject to monitoring. Such monitoring may result in acquisition recording or analysis of all data being communicated. Um, if monitor reveals pos possible evidence of criminal activity, it may be provided to law enforcement. So like I said, we went right down the checklist. So the computer is owned by ABC Corp. It's only allowed to be used by authorized users. Unauthorized use or access is subject to criminal prosecution. They're subject to monitoring, recording, and analysis everything. Now, like I said, it's just for this control AC8, it's just a punch list of what has to be within this usage notification. And then lastly, I like to end these presentations on a screenshot of the NIST uh, website and the guidance. So if we're looking at AC8 system use notification at the moderate impact baseline, it's just AC8 and there's no enhancements. Um, I think it's all just built into the control. As you can see here, it's very lengthy, has a lot of requirements for what's required in that notification. Um, so no enhancements on this one. Thanks for tuning in to Audit Trails, and we'll see you on the next one.